so I'm gonna download do Film of Rage because I'm not gonna play it anymore because uh, uh, now I'm gonna start with Battlefield so and Game of Rage is always crashing and that stuff and uh, it's beginning to be boring so uh, you can see the video that I did so now I'm gonna do the review of Rage so Rage for PC remember this is the PC version uh, the game graphically is good uh, OpenGGL uh, does a great job uh, uh, mega textures and that stuff, but there are the, that problems of uh, that uh, take some time to load uh, the textures. That uh, uh, unfortunately is only against uh, for people who have uh, Atihadion <coughs> like me. It loads then uh, you have a crash, uh, not constantly like in the beginning of the game. But uh, some random crash, which is annoying because you have to. Oh, they let me stop here, uh, do again, and repeat the same thing that you did like 10 minutes ago. Uh, so the gameplay, it's like an FPS, a normal FPS, uh, with some uh, new uh, weapons like the wing sticks uh, and that stuff. You have to buy uh, zooms, uh, weapons that are really. A little <coughs> uh, different, like that uh, ball that you can shot the uh, elect bolt and that stuff, but nothing special gameplay it's like a F normal FPS. Uh, the quests is uh, the uh, like st it's the story that you have to accept quests to do. It's like uh, uh, dungeons, it's not dungeons, it's like I don't know what to call it, but it's like dungeons you have to go to there and defeat the enemies to retrieve something and then go to Liber and. You progress in story. Then you have uh, some side quests to do. Deliver some mail to some place in, in limited time. You have a uh, race to do to gain certificate uh, race to buy uh, upgrades to your uh, car. Yes, you drive a car to go to place quickly, and then uh, <coughs> those upgrades uh, are uh, also because you when you go to place there are enemy cars that. Uh, when you progress more in the game, they become more stronger with miss missiles and uh, shields, landmines, and that stuff. Uh, the boss, uh, uh, only one boss that I saw it, uh, that is good is that big toot that uh, you have to shoot in the electric things to be knocked out and that stuff. Uh, <laughs> the online isn't that interesting. I didn't play the multiplayer, but I saw and isn't many. Uh, is it fun too? It's uh, like uh, destroying cards, more, more, nothing less. So yeah, Rage isn't. It shows to be a great game, like they uh, show it's supposed to be a great game, but one more time it fails. With open shell like uh, Brink was a failure. Uh, my film to this game, the rating of my of, uh, is for this game is uh, uh, seven, not like uh, other media gave an eight. For me, it's a seven because for PC attention, this is only for PC that I'm reviewing. So for PC, I give a, a seven because cons uh, random crash, uh, mega textures that uh, take uh, some time to load and uh, some glitch that sometimes appears like uh, black things in the ground, in the face and then the gameplay becomes boring and the story isn't that much interesting you have to find uh, who, uh, you are an arc and you have to uh, do some things because uh, that guy uh, then Agar saves you and then you join to resistance and then you have to face the authority so yeah I didn't play to the end but uh, it's more like that the game so rating 7 of 7 if you have if you want to uh, burn some time uh, uh, play this game but uh, <coughs> try to buy this game in a second uh, 
and or when it's uh, at a low price. So yeah, rating of 7 for rage, PC version. See ya.